In a few videos, I have stated real scientist as a term. Not as an intentional term, merely as a statement to say real scientists who are doing real science. Now, I'm not saying that there's real scientists and make-believe scientists. I'm not saying it's black and white. What I'm saying is, a genuine scientist should have genuine degrees and operate in a professional manner, as opposed to being a person who has fake degrees, or degrees which are not actually scientific, and then operating in an unprofessional manner. And this is not to do with dismissing claims I do not like. It's to do with those people who claim to be genuine scientists to actually operate in a professional manner and actually have genuine qualifications to operate tests correctly. And when they make a claim, it's not simply down to a single test or a series of very poorly run tests, but down to something which is truly demonstrable. Now, genuine science has nothing to do with politics or religion. It's to do with actually operating in a truly professional scientific manner when it comes down to perhaps confirming a particular hypothesis. It's not to do with, oh, this person's a spiritualist, that person's a Catholic, that person's an atheist, or whatever the case may be. It's to do with the validity of a claim, nothing else. How valid is a claim? So people have certain ideas of what might be true, sure, beliefs. And if they try and confirm those beliefs with bias tests, they'll find the results they're looking for, because they're bias. That's why with genuine science, here I am using terms again, you end up with people who simply try and find out what's actually true, not merely by trying to support their ideas, but trying to disprove their ideas. Are there flaws? Do these results disappear when you use proper controls? So by actually testing what's true in proper conditions, without biases affecting the results, you can actually work out what is factually correct. You can come up with a working theory for the facts. And even then, if you come up with something new, which works better, or new information comes along which refutes the theory, you can simply adapt it according to the knowledge you have. So it's not about belief systems. It's not about wishful thinking. It's about what's actually evident. It's not about special pleading or variety of fallacies you could use. It's not about trying to make people conform to a particular idea. It's about working out what's actually real. And for most of us, it will be completely over our heads with many aspects of science where it's incredibly complicated and we're poorly educated when it comes down to those particular fields. And you need to remember, you don't make yourself an authority on truth simply by having a PhD or having a master's or some kind of qualification in some way, shape or form or simply say that you're in contact with something in a higher dimension. Simply stating that you have some kind of greater knowledge or that your philosophy is superior or that your ideas are greater or that the beliefs you have are ancient ideas which have enlightened millions of humans throughout human civilization. So what?